Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about intensity modulated radiation therapy. I divide this topic in two parts and this is part one. According to Kahn, intensity modulated radiation therapy, IMRT, refers to the rad radiation therapy technique in which a non-uniform fluence is delivered to the patient from any given position of the treatment beam to optimize the composite dose distribution. In this picture here, we can see uh, that IMRT beams can have highly non-uniform fluences. Each beam has non-uniform fluence, and they can also, IMRT beams can output a more concave shaped dose distribution. We see here the center, the target, and the black line is the isodosal line conforming to the target. To this concave target. IMRT is great for target volumes with concave or complex shapes and near to radiosensitive normal structures. Two key features are no uniform intensity of the radiation beams and computer-based inverse planning. No uniform intensity. Intensity is defined as the time variation of energy fluence or total energy carried by particles, in this case photons, per unit area, per unit time. The fluence of photons is the number of photons that enter a cross-sectional area of an imaginary sphere. In IMRT plan, each beam is subdivided into a number of small segments called beamlets. Uh, the picture on the right side here represents IMRT field showing the beamlets, the small segments. And for each of those beamlets, an intensity level will be assigned once the optimizer is done. The intensity distribution of the beamlets is referred to a fluence map, as we can see on the right side here. Uh, once the optimizer is done, if you go field by field on your IMRT plan, you're going to see the fluence map there for each field. The difference in color and color tone, uh, darker, lighter, uh, refers to the intensity level, level assigned to each beamlet. Inverse planning. Why inverse? Why they use the word inverse to start with? The word inverse relates to math and inverse problem-solving techniques, which start at the final or desired result and work backwards to establish the best way to achieve it. So in inverse planning, in IMRT inverse planning, we uh, set the goals, we, we, the dose distribution we want at the end when the optimizer is done. So we have the final or desired result there and let the optimizer to work, to do the work to get the best way to achieve it. The inverse planning process works iteratively to determine beam shapes and fluence patterns to achieve an optimal or acceptable absorbed dose distribution. In IMRT treatment, plan parameters are determined from the prescribed dose distribution by means of an optimization procedure on appropriate cost function. The cost function is a measure of the distance between the prescribed dose and the obtained one, includes the clinical objectives of the treatment plan and represents a critical point of the optimization process. The optimization algorithm attempts to minimize the overall cost at each iteration until the desired goal or close to it is achieved. Inverse planning uh, inputs are beam orientation and characteristics, targets in the organs at risk anatomy, constraints and priorities. And the uh, constraints are the goals for, that we have for target, like minimum and max dose for organs at risk, max dose, mean dose. And the priority tells the optimizer to assign weights to each criteria, to each um, constraint in the cost function. So it helps the optimi optimizer uh, define which, which of them is more important or as important as. Planners often adjust constraints and priorities during optimization attempt to drive the plan to its optimal solution. 
the output inverse planning is intensity map for each beam. Uh, here is just uh, for us to vis visualize better what I just said. So uh, optimization criteria. Uh, we have for organs at risk, we have those volume constraints or max dose, especially for serial structures like in the spinal cord, we have a max dose there. Uh, that we, if it, the, the target's close to it, we have to try to bring the dose down at that series structure. Um, mean and max dose for targets uh, is another optimization criteria. Here's a screenshot of an optimizer uh, from a specific vendor. On the left side, we have, uh, it's where we input the constraints for targets, for organs at risk. In this case, here in this optimizer, uh, we are, have the DVH, but we also have the CT image with the dose distribution uh, in real time as the optimizer is doing the work there. Keep in mind that the IMRT planning and delivery process does not guarantee that an optimal solution is obtained. And the number of fields and their characteristics helps to define how much room the optimizer has to work. So I'm going to stop uh, right here. And in IMRT part two, I'm going to talk about treatment delivery, treatment planning recommendations, IMRT VMAT plan versus 3D plan, the pros and cons. Uh, those are the sources I have used for this presentation. And this is it, guys. Thanks for watching.